the Brazilians and other things. <coughs> I had walked into the shops for a distance of some uh, four to five kilometres and confronted with this sign out the front of a shop. I merely thought, I've been out in the sun too long. I must be hallucinating. The sign said this, Brazilian body. I merely got my attention. I thought, Bond Brazilian women came to mind. I thought those Amazon women are migrating from Brazil. There must be something wrong with the Amazon or something. Was it drying up? Could they not make a living anymore? And why were they migrating to Australia? How little was I prepared for what I read next? A Brazilian wax? What the hell is that? Men's wax? Jesus. Pregnancy wax? Christ. Spray tans? Extended lashings? Jesus. Even child friendly? Well, it doesn't sound like it to me. Well, my head was swimming with all the amazing barriers of information and staggered off to find find to make some sense of it. Where to start? First is some big bronze, a big fit bronze Amazonian, I assume with a spray tan, is going to give you a wax. Now I can see how that might thought might appeal to, to some having some big bronze Amazonian tearing your hair out living red welts. Uh, but for myself, being a mature years, I wanted to go quietly in my twilight years. I thought the excitement might be a bit too much for my dear old heart. I thought of a bronzed Amazonian kneeling on my back tearing out my hair was a bit too much excitement. Besides, I have a lot of hair and I would like to keep it. Uh, I've had it for a long time. Besides, it keeps me warm on cold days and shaves me on hot days. So I think I'll keep it. Who's it like that sort of thing can play with the Brazilians? Then, of course, those who do not like the Brazilian or the Amazonian, the, the man wax. One can get a big bodybuilding man sharing a hair down if that has more appeal. But for me, in my mature years, I don't think thought of a big spray tanned bronze bodybuilding male had any more appeal to me. So I decided I like my hair very much. So there's the end of that. And of course then there's a pregnancy wax. Well I can't think that will affect me at my advancing years. I don't think there's any fear of me getting pregnant. And there, of course if I was carrying a little one around inside me I can't imagine anything would possess me to have some big bronze Amazonian tearing my hair out. For me it would be just enough carrying around the poor little growing one inside me. It would be quite enough. And if if you finish ripping and tearing and, and also the smarting and the red skin and the skin has lost its reddish glow, then you yes, you yeah, there's more, yes, yes, that's right. That's not the end of it. Oh, that's not the full treatment, yes, you can have yourself sprayed all over with your choice of colour. Yellow, orange, deep orange, and of course brown. A word of warning, when having your spray tan on <coughs> Make very sure to keep your eyes and your mouth closed tight, as yellow eyes and yellow teeth are dead giveaway that this is a spray on tan and it will show it's totally fake. <coughs> if that's not enough for you, there's always the extended lashings. Well, I don't know about you, but at my time in life, I think a quiet, I want a quiet time. I like to, a lot less excitement. I think a thought of a lashing extended or not by Brazilians, Amazonians, bodybuilders or anyone else is right off the menu for me. <coughs> if you would like that sort of thing, and that's your cup of tea, well, all I can say, each is to their own. If, <coughs> if that's what it takes to be a big bronze as Aussie, or Amazonian Indian, or, uh, uh, or anything else, I want no part of it. I don't care if it is child friendly. And doesn't sound much like it to me. If that's what it takes to be an Aussie these days, well, it's just too bloody much. <laughs>